little key takeaway here today is that how we ask is really everything. If you do it right and strategically and truly embed it into your team's everyday practices and interactions with their patients, mm -hmm. it becomes one of your biggest strengths. Success Confidentials are conversations around elective growth. What drives it and what sustains it? Are you ready to think outside the box and do healthcare differently? You'll learn from our missteps, our successes, and change the way that you think about elective healthcare. So let's have some fun. <laughs> let's dive in. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. And we talk about that all the time and that goes into more of the soft skills of this relationship we're building. If a patient feels connected to us and we ask, our chances that they will respond and actually do it are so much higher. And we have seen that in mm -hmm. action. The team members, when we do challenges or campaigns within a practice mm -hmm. and there are incentives, you know, there are ways to make it really fun. The team members who always ace it and win these incentives and challenges are the team members who have the who have mastered soft skills and connect with their patients whether it's technicians doctors front desk counselors call center mm -hmm. it's always the team members who connect with their patients so we really can't have that ask where they actually do it if we're not connecting i want to even expand on one piece mm -hmm. is that you named a lot of roles mm -hmm. that have an impact yeah. on generating more reviews. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we don't put this all on our counselors. Yeah, Everyone needs to be invested that mm -hmm. is patient facing mm -hmm. because like you said, you're creating that relation, even mm -hmm. our doctors. Yeah, it really has to be a team sport. It does. And incorporate the entire group and have a goal. Yeah. For example, if the practice down the street is a 4.8 and you're a 4.5, mm -hmm. okay team, until we reach and surpass a 4.8, we won't rest, like we won't become complacent, we won't mm -hmm. forget this is a daily activity. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people feel like asking can sound self-serving, mm -hmm. that can be another hesitation for why if someone's not trained in how to ask for a review, mm -hmm. it can feel like, hey, do this for me, do this mm -hmm. for our practice. Mm -hmm. And it can feel that way for the patient too. Yes, what I would say is, Lauren, I have just been so thrilled to help you with your care, your 2015 day one, this is why I love my job. And I am so excited every time I get to help be a part of this patient's journey. Would you do me a favor and take a moment and leave a review on Google sharing your experience so other patients who are considering this procedure and maybe on the fence or maybe scared can hear from a real person why this has changed their life and why they're so glad they did it to really help other patients take that step and move forward with something that can change their lives just like it did yours.